calls on the Mornington Peninsula to reclassify it as regional to unlock and secure more government funding. As Mimi Becker explains, an economic report found the community is falling behind compared to other places like Geelong. On a clear day, you can see the CBD, but 70 kilometres down the road, the Mornington Peninsula is still classified as metropolitan Melbourne. So not the big city, not the small country town, and we're, we're in no man's land. The Committee of Mornington Peninsula and local business owners are calling for the area to be reclassified as regional. An economic disadvantage report they commissioned found it's falling behind. We have no water, we have no sewage, we have no gas. Most of the time we don't have television. Uh, our internet's terrible. The committee believes a regional reclassification will provide better access to funding for transport, infrastructure, hospitals and schools. 82% of our area doesn't have access to public transport. Our hospitals, actually our regional neighbours, their hospitals get three times the infrastructure funding from our hospitals. Across yeah. the bay, Geelong is already classified as regional and according to Mornington locals, reaping the rewards. We got 1% in comparison to them. But the Mayor of Mornington Peninsula is adamant a sudden change is not the solution. In my view, it's, it's chasing short-term gains for long-term unintended consequences that may come with that. And we need to be really careful and not rush into this. The community's call for change has already been shut down. A spokesperson for the state government saying they have no plans to change the urban growth boundary and reclassify the Mornington Peninsula. Let's stand up now and let's make Mornington Peninsula regional Victoria and put it to bed. Mimi Becker, Nine News.